Hi guys, it's the Island Girl, and I'm back with another one for you today. And today I'm reacting to why US produced eggs are banned across Europe and vice versa. So we are going to get right into this one. Because this seems very, very interesting to me. Because I would wonder why would it? It's just eggs. Why why? We're going to find out. All right, we're gonna get I'm going to get more clarity as, as to why this is the case. So if you're new to my channel, it's the first time here, come on in, wrap back to all those who are my regulars, my schmeglers, my day ones, my sweetie pies, my sweetie poos. <laughs> come on in, wrap back, put a smile on your face and enjoy. Let your island girl find out something new today because this is interesting. Here we go now. In the United States, the United States Department of Agriculture, or the USDA, lays out regulations for how food products should be produced and processed to ensure food safety. The I know I just started, but I gotta have to look at a rant here. When it comes to their so-called, uh, these so-called organization pertaining to uh, making sure, regulate, and ensure that food is okay for us, Believe me, that is not the case. They're just lying in their pocket. They don't care about whether, whether food is healthy or not for anybody. Because guess what? They are, their pocket is being lined by the producers of these, of these eggs as well. Not just eggs, produce on a whole. Um, listen, all these drugs, companies, medic, everything you can think of. They're not for nobody. They're for themselves. But yeah, let me continue. Sorry. Safety. The United States Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA on the other hand, determines the best food consumption practices to minimize health problems. Ironically, they also determine how much rat hair should be allowed in peanut butter, rat feces in your spices, and cigarette butts in your sandwich. Unless you find more than 30 insect fragments or one rodent hair per 100 grams of peanut butter, 9 milligrams of rodent poop per 1 kilogram of wheat, 75 mites per 100 grams of dried mushrooms, one maggot per 100 grams of tomato juice, and 13 insect heads every 100 grams of fig paste, the FDA expects you to compromise with this situation because, well, no food practice is perfect, humans make mistakes, restricting food laws will increase food prices, and bugs aren't that gross. Some of them are quite healthy. At the same time, the USDA has laid out guidelines for how commercial eggs should be produced, processed, and stored to make sure eggs remain safe for public consumption. The UK has their own regulations, but their regulations are quite opposite oh. to those in the US, making it illegal for eggs produced in the UK to be sold in the US and those produced in the US to be sold in the UK. But if guidelines in both the cases are made for food safety and are in the public interest, why are they so contrasting to one another? Which of them is the right practice, or are both of them equally good? In the case of American eggs, the USDA requires its egg farms to properly wash and sanitize their eggs before they reach consumers in order to remove any dirt and feces on the exterior of the eggs. These contaminants are bacterial in nature and may pose a food safety threat when they enter a kitchen environment. For instance, one may crack open an egg and then proceed to prepare a sandwich with those bacteria-ridden hands. Also, eggshells are porous, so there's a possibility of microbes leaking inside the egg. As per the regulation, eggs are washed with warm water, at least 20 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the internal temperature of the eggs, and at a minimum of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. A detergent that won't impart any foreign odours to the eggs is also used. After washing, the eggs are rinsed with a warm water spray containing a chemical sanitizer to remove any remaining bacteria, and then are dried to remove excess moisture. Every step of this whole process is scientifically designed and must be executed with extreme care. Otherwise, this procedure can lead to more damage. This I don't get. Why are you going through all of that? For me, at the end of the day, um, when you wash and you do all of that, you're doing more damage. What are you talking about cleanliness and uh, washing? and, and, and they, It's protected on a whole when the egg is there. That's why I don't really like the idea of getting my eggs from the store. I'd rather some a local person give me their egg because for me, I don't necessarily store, wouldn't, I'd rather not store my eggs in the fridge. One. Two, there's no need to be washing them. There's a protective layer on the egg. There's a little white dust. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it protects the egg. Ain't nobody getting no, 
if everything here is about oh cleaning and sanitizing and getting sal salmonella or whatever you call it um that's all you keep hearing but people needs to listen man be careful when you um when you prepare your food period pine blank not only that there are bacteria is there for a reason because our immune system needs to get used to certain things there's bacteria all good listen i don't i don't i don't get how they are so called looking out for the health wise of their people Come on, man. Give, come with something better than that because I don't believe that for a second. Let me stop with my ranting. Interesting, right, good. <laughs> For example, the drying of eggs is crucial because a dry eggshell acts as a barrier to bacterial intrusion, while the presence of moisture makes the shell more permeable, exposing it to a pathogen attack. Exactly. Furthermore, moisture itself may act as a medium for bacterial growth, and water provides an excellent vehicle for pathogens such as salmonella. The right temperature of warm washing water is important because water colder than the egg could cause the contents of the egg to contract, sucking polluted water in through the shell. Results may get worse if a facility is not careful enough to regularly change the washing water and eggs are left to sit in the dirty bath. That is exactly my point. So why go through all of that process knowing that it can be damaging or knowing that it, it won't be healthy towards the consumer, towards according to you the, the the wider public at large that you're trying to keep safe why do all of that why it's not necessary it's really not necessary but like i said before it's all about these politicians it's all about you know these lining their pocket with money it that's that's majority of what it boils down to it's not about no health concern where we are concerned not at all it's not for, <laughs> for the, 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 the no it's not for us at all with such high risk of bacteria, if cleaned improperly, the UK and almost all of the world except the US believe that eggs should not be washed or cleaned before they're sold to consumers. Wow. As far as dirty eggs are concerned, the EU's egg marketing law encourages good husbandry on farms. Because eggs can't be cleaned or washed, it's in the farmer's best interest to produce the cleanest eggs possible, as no one is going to buy their eggs if they're dirty. There this may not sound too convincing to you, but there's more to it. An egg carries a thin layer of coating on its outer surface called cuticle. That's this layer saying. naturally protects eggs from almost all contamination and also keeps the eggs fresh for longer periods. Washing eggs damage most of this protective layer and makes them vulnerable to contamination from pathogens and other microorganisms. In the absence of washing, an egg is capable of protecting itself naturally, and if care is taken while handling the eggs, the contamination of kitchen environments can also be eliminated. The UK thus believes that a little care is better than the huge risk and cost of washing eggs. Another there you go, there you have it, a government that is looking for out for its people. That, I, I'm telling you, I you may all think I'm biased, you all may think I'm this or that, but when you stop to really listen and watch, when I keep watching these UK videos, I am telling you, I know, yeah, you have your one and two who, yeah, it's not for them, but majority of the time when you listen to this, it's not necessarily about themselves. Listen to this. We grow up in school. We learn this stuff as young kids in school. Well, well I, when, I was going to Jam when I was going to school in Jamaica, I know all this. That's why I could have said all of that. We didn't store f any um, eggs in any fridge. We didn't wash no eggs. We weren't sick. Like I said, the, the, out the, back the outer coating is there to protect the... Oh, jeezy, wheezy. I am so happy. But how crazy is that? So based on what I've seen so far, one side is better than none. Why wouldn't you want to trade? You understand? Why wouldn't you want to pick up the better I The thing that makes British eggs and American eggs different to one another is how they're stored. In the UK and almost everywhere in Europe, you can see eggs sitting in unrefrigerated shelves of supermarkets. The EU regulations stipulates that wow. eggs should in general not be refrigerated before selling to the final consumer. Chilled eggs when left outside at room at temperature during transit between the supermarket and the customer's home may sweat and form moisture on its surface, facilitating the growth of bacteria and probably their ingression into the egg. The American system, on the other hand, instructs exactly. its seller to refrigerate eggs under 40 degrees Fahrenheit in order to decrease the risk of salmonella. 
Salmonella isn't a big problem in the UK because European farmers have been vaccinating their hens against salmonella since the 1990s and have received good results. Vaccination in the US is not a common. So why don't we do that? Why don't we do that instead of going to pro go through the process of washing? Why don't we do that? You see, you see the point I'm trying to make? Do you guys see the point I'm trying to make? I know I'm pausing, I know I'm ranting, but I, I have to laugh and, 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 and I don't really want to get upset because I'm like, they don't care. They just don't care. It's, that's it, period, point blank. On practice. Because of all of these differences in how eggs are processed and stored in the two nations, British eggs are significantly richer in taste. But how would you know? British eggs can't be sold in the US, exactly. and the US ones in the UK. Look at that. Look at that. You would assume that if there's something working in another country, you, you would assume that another country would say, you know what, let us try it this way because this is working. They don't have a lot of salmonella um, outbreaks at all. So let's pick up what they're doing because it's, it would be beneficial to our nation. Oh no, we can't do that. We just have to be different. Who cares if we put anybody at risk? Who cares? We don't care. We are all about the money, 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 money. That's pretty much it. I appreciate, like I said, and I keep stressing this, how me meticulous you are with your with the way that you do things there in the in in Europe in the UK. I appreciate that. Um, to me, the thought process behind what you do is important. It, it always seemed that way. We you think about and executed well. You understand for the for the for the benefit of the people. Um, it's crazy because, you know what, let me stop right here. It's your island girl and I'm running out of here. Don't forget to give, to give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you can. Trying to get to 100k by the end of December. Um, I love you guys and I'll check you in another video. I, I'm just rolling this around my head like why can't you adapt something that is, yeah. I love you guys and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.